I'm not one of those kind of arseholes. <laughs> I'm a different kind of arsehole. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not an arsehole at all. Don't worry, I'm not going to start sniffing arseholes. <laughs> sniffing arseholes. <laughs> Welcome! Got a real mixed bag of Funko figures here. Well, a mixed box to be more precise about it. Three different lines. Couple of chances of pulling a chase as well in here. One from a pop and one from a soda. We'll do the soda opening at the end as um, they always tend to have a little bit of excitement and jeopardy in them. But let's get this open. So this order altogether I was a little bit annoyed because I'd just fallen under the £40 threshold for free postage. I think this ended up being like 39 but I couldn't really find anything on the site for like a pound or two that I wanted just to bump it up. So I did end up paying the £4.25 in postage. So I reckon this that's wrapped in a load of brown paper, that's going to be the soda. So I'll put that down and we'll do that last. I'll also put my knife down, safety first and all that. And uh, we've got one of these sort of funny sorters here. What should we do first? Let's do the pop that I know it's definitely not going to be a chase because the chase hasn't come out. And it's the impulsive one as well. I struggle with these more than I think is uh, necessary. Oh, there we go. It wasn't too difficult. But I'm trying not to look at the other pop. I think I've got the right one out. Yes, I have. I'm going to put this down somewhere where I'm not going to be looking at it too much until it's time. But the first pop I'm going to show you is in the Pop Rocks line and it is number 202. It's Willie Nelson. Yeah, this was kind of impulsive. As you know, I do like collecting the Pop Rocks and um, over the last, I would say, six months almost, I've become a lot less stringent regarding my rules for collecting these. Before, I just used to get the Pop Rocks figures that I was a fan of their music and I still do in a way there's still a lot of pop rocks I just won't go anywhere near them because I'm just not interested in the music like BTS for example it is BTS that Korean boy band oh what I've heard of them a complete shit anyway box is coming open a little bit there but here's Willie Nelson a country music legend good condition box as is often the case with these pop rocks they're not part of a particular wave of any it's just they bring them out as and when really and uh, who's going to be in a wave along with willie nelson i'm not sure really johnny cash perhaps that's one i would like actually johnny cash uh, i will pick that up at some point when i see it for a good price i think there's a couple of variants of it as well oh, i'll get willie nelson out i'm going to get all these pops out because obviously the soda i need to open that see what it is and the next pop the second pop is one that i'm going to keep out of box anyway willie nelson being part of the pop rocks line he will go back in the box but here he is and i just really like the look of this pop ever since i saw it on a couple of different websites and the price, what was it, at Funko Europe, is it £11, was it? I can't remember. Uh, but he's got a red bandana on. That, oh, he's got his, like, a logo, Willie Nelson logo on it. Good detail with it being tied around the back there. He's got his long, in this light, I can't really tell it, I would say it's light brown hair that's done in a couple of plaits there. White or very, very light grey at best beard. He's holding and playing his acoustic guitar. I always like that. I like to see Pops holding guitars. They're uh, always a lot of fun. I think um, his guitar strap's quite colourful as well. Might be like a rainbow type one. What I think is a black shirt. He's wearing blue jeans, black shoes. Willie Nelson. Yep, I think that's great. Not one that I was desperate for, but I thought... You know what, Funko Europe have it in stock. I'm definitely getting the soda, I'm definitely getting the other pop. Why don't I just get another for the Pop Rocks line while I'm at it? So, Willie Nelson there. Right, the next pop, it's in a line that I collected all the ones that I needed in ages ago. Like, probably about two years ago was the last time I got any. They did bring out a new wave recently, but it was all characters that I'd already got in older form. I'm glancing back now as uh, they're in the cabinet to uh, the far left of the room. The one character 
that hadn't come out before that I needed. Um, I'd initially pre-ordered it at Pop Figures. It's a Big Apple Collectibles exclusive. Then I saw it at Funko Europe, I think for like £15. It'll have the special edition sticker on it, but that doesn't matter. It's an out-of-box pop anyway, and if it wasn't, I'm not asked about the sticker. And I thought, well, I'll cancel my order at Pop Figures, because no idea when that's coming into stock. Get my money back, and then it's cheaper at Funko Europe anyway. And then I also realised, after I'd done that, that um, actually there's a chance of a chase here, which I didn't even realise. I'd had this on pre-order since, like, May, and I've only just realised it's now October that there's a chance of a chase but let's see what we've got for parks and recreation it's just the normal one that's totally fine number 1153 in the pop television line this is ben wyatt so yeah parks and recreation great us sitcom mockumentary series big fan of it watched it a few times it's very much like the office if you like the office then you'll most likely enjoy Parks and Rec if you've not seen it. I think The Office is superior, but Parks and Recreation is really good. I do recommend that people see it. Oh, quite a sticky box, this. So I think the chase for Ben Wyatt was um, very similar. He just had like a sailor's hat on and maybe slightly different clothes, but he's holding this cone here. Feels like where a price sticker would have been. Although, ironically enough, that's where you would stick a chase sticker. As um, you see the special edition sticker there, it's quite over to the left really, or the middle of the box, but the left of the window. Perhaps the um, Big Apple collectible sticker was there. It's very sticky there. Like something's been there that um, decided they ought to take off. Doesn't matter. Little look at this line on the back, but um, as I say, I've got some of the older vaulted ones of these. Like I've got a Leslie, um, I've got an Andy. Uh, Janet Snake Hole, that is, um, oh, I've forgotten her name. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> oh dear, I'll put it on screen. But uh, yeah, I've got her. Duke Silver is, of course, Ron Swanson, and there's another Ron there, so a few Rons out now. But I've got um, what was probably the original Ron Swanson Funko Pop release. Right, let's get Ben Wyatt out. Not a lot to look at, really. But it's not the most interesting pop. I do like the character. Compared to some of the wacky characters in Parks and Rec, he was probably one of the more sort of normal type ones. I mean, he was a complete nerd, a complete geek. Here he is, Ben Wyatt. The cone he's holding is in reference to like a tabletop game that he invented, the Cones of Dunshire. And he invented that at some point, and then a few years later, it ended up earning him a lot of money, I think. Uh, I don't want to give spoilers out, because like I say, go and watch Parks and Rec, it's very funny. But not an awful lot to really say about this chap. The hair looks good, dark hair there, with some texture on the top. Wearing a black, probably leather jacket, or maybe a hoodie, perhaps, I'm not sure. White shirt, light blue, maybe jeans or trousers, black shoes. But uh, Ben Wyatt stays out of box because I've made some space for him in my cabinet that's got all my parks and recreation pops in. And it's also got quite a lot of my office collection. And hopefully you'll be seeing me add to my office collection very soon on this channel. Right, so put Ben down. This is the moment probably a lot of you have been waiting for, as it's soda opening time. I got an email from Funko Europe saying this soda was back in stock, so it must have been in stock before and I just didn't realise. And um, you know the only sodas that I'm collecting at the moment, and probably for the foreseeable future, are Ad Icon sodas. And this one is an Ad Icon soda, it is Bazooka Joe. So this is the third Bazooka Joe Funko figure I've got. I've got the pop, which is behind me somewhere. I've got the daubs, which is up there somewhere. And now I've got the soda. It's only 4,000 pieces, this, so it's quite sort of limited, just as it is, even if this isn't the chase. And I'm not expecting it to be the chase. So I'm very happy I've got this, really. Let's undo this plastic. I don't think there's any sort of special sticker that I need to save. No, there isn't. So the difference between the common soda figure and the chase, from what I've seen, well there's the common, you can see a picture of it, the chase version, he's blowing a bubble with his bubble gum, that's the difference. So 
I'll know if it's the chase or not as soon as I've looked at it. Some of them I'm never quite sure initially. I remember opening Chester Cheetah and that was a chase because it was glow in the dark but I had to look at the pog for confirmation. Right so not looking inside the can I'll just pull out the old black bin bag here you can hear the pog in the bottom last time I opened the soda I got a chase didn't I? Well I'm not including the act of kindness ones that Stormcore Collectibles sent me and that video came out on the channel not too long ago as I didn't open them as in unseal them as then they were brand new they'd already been done but I mean I'm referring back to Quake he was the chase. We've got the bin bag open. Yeah, this looks like the common to me. Yeah, it's just the common, but that's perfectly fine. It's an ad icon soda, so I don't care if it's the common or the chase. Just glad to have it. And really, this one, it's only one of 4,000 anyway, so very few of these compared to the ones where you get in like a 10,000 piece run and things like that. 4,000 isn't very much at all. So even the common of these might end up being quite rare and sought after. But uh, here he is. We'll have a look at the confirmation there for the pog. Yeah, his what? That's a weird number. His one out of three thousand three hundred and forty. So uh, there we are. Very nice. As I say, the only difference would have been you'd have seen like a pink bubble coming out of his mouth there. But he's got his eye patch on, blonde hair. Reminds me a little bit of um, the American Dennis the Menace. You know, the blonde-haired little shitbag. <laughs> I remember watching that cartoon a lot when I was younger. They just called it Dennis over here because obviously Dennis the Menace here in the UK is the spiky haired lad from the Beano holding out his left hand there. Got his right hand in his pocket. Bazooka logo t-shirt, blue baseball cap, trousers that are turned up at the cuffs there, brown shoes. Very nice, will fit perfectly in my ad icons soda display because as i say i'm only getting ad icon sodas because otherwise that is a collection that could just run rampant and i think it has for a lot of collectors so there we are quite a mixed bag here really a lot for me to process and take in regarding my own collection but all stuff that i'm delighted to get Willie Nelson, yeah, Impulsive, and, and other Pop Rocks that I could have perhaps lived without, but I think he looks brilliant, and he's going to look great in my Pop Rocks display. The thing I wanted the most out of everything was Ben Wyatt, probably the least interesting visually of all three figures today, but um, just for completionist's sake, for my Parks and Recreation collection, this one for me was the best pull of today just because it's the one character I needed to keep that collection up to date. And last but not least, always exciting to open a soda, and Bazooka Joe is a really good one. So there we are. Thank you Funko Europe for another great delivery. It took a little bit of time this one. It was processing for about a week, but it doesn't matter. Better late than never. And I want to thank all of you for watching this video and give special thanks to my subscribers and patrons. My Patreon link, my Facebook group link, and all kinds of tasty Funko affiliate links and codes, they're all down in the description text box below. Please go and check them out. I'm going to go now. I've got Willie Nelson to put in a pot protector. I've got Ben Wyatt to put in my cabinet. And I've got Bazooka Joe along with his can. I always save the cans, of course. In fact, I might as well put the top back on this can. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next eclectic Funko Pop and Funko Soda unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya!